Hello and welcome to our discussion on cost and management accounting. We'll continue our discussion on the process costing and uh, the focus is on the equivalent production or equivalent output when there is both opening and closing work in progress and we will try to understand the cost accumulation by using average and FIFO methods. So at every process there may be work in progress. In the previous example we assumed that there is only closing work in progress, no opening. Suppose at every stage there is an opening and closing work in progress. If that is the case then we have to find of course the equivalent units and we know that equivalent units is the notional number of units calculated for each element of cost, material, labor and overheads by multiplying the actual output with the, uh, with the degree of um, completion. So we find the equivalent production, determine the cost, assign the cost and then we do the process costing. But whenever there is an opening and closing work in progress, there is a choice of method. We can do by average cost method or by FIFO. In this example or in this presentation, we'll focus on the average cost method. But you should remember the final cost of output and WIP um, will differ depending on the methods of costing selected. So let us take an example. So information given is opening uh, with opening and closing work in progress. So the process cost information that is an opening work in progress of 225 units the degree of completion with respect to material is 100% and with respect to the conversion cost here instead of giving material overheads and labor separate the example talks about conversion cost which consists of labor and overheads where 60% is complete and the input introduced in this process let us say let us say this process is a huh? and in this process is 275 units so already you are there is an opening work in progress of 225 units partly complete introduce 275 so the total input is 500 the finished goods is 400 units 100 percent complete and closing work in progress is 100 units and the degree of completion is 100% with respect to material and 50% with respect to the uh, conversion cost. So you can see there is a presence of opening and closing work in progress and the expenses incurred is material cost 198,000 and conversion cost is 163,000. The total expenses incurred in this process in this time period is 361,800. So let us first find the cost without using the concept of the equivalent production. Then the opening is 261,000 which is material and conversion cost. The material cost in this period and the conversion cost in this period is 163,800. So total expenses is uh, 622,800. And um, transfer to, we produced 400 units. So the cost per unit is equal to, because there is no loss, so we classify, we divided this over 500 units. And so cost of finished goods of this process is 1245 into 400 and the closing work in progress is 124,560. So the cost is determined here without using the equivalent. So that means the entire 
expenses incurred and the bought forward are uniformly apportioned. But let us take the concept of the equivalent and find the impact of equivalent cost or equivalent units on the cost, final cost that we determine here. So equivalent output statement and we are using weighted average and you see the effect of weighted average how it has been treated here. So physical units and the equivalent units will be we have used 225 input from the opening work in progress introduced 275 the output is 400 and finished in every respect and uh, 100 is the closing work in progress and this this is an important assumption in weighted average we assume that entire 400 units finished are produced or the expenses are incurred fully on this 400 units so we assume that this 400 is fully produced in the current period so that's an important assumption uh, so this 400 into 100 100 percent complete with respect to material and with respect to the conversion cost so the equivalent output is equal to the actual output but you can see with respect to the work in progress the closing work in progress it is 100 percent complete with respect to the material and 50 percent complete with respect to the conversion cost so we have not segregated this 400 whether it has come from the previous or it has been manufactured in the current period we are averaging it okay so the equivalent output with respect to material is 500 and with respect to the conversion cost is 450 so therefore our equivalent units are 500 and 450 respectively 500 and 450 and um, we'll use this to find the statement of cost in statement of costs the material cost will include the expenses incurred in the current period 198 plus 180,000 we average them add together and charge it against the equivalent units of 500 which we calculated here so the cost per unit per unit cost is equal to 756 material that means we average that previous cost current cost divided by the equivalent output in the same way the conversion cost is 81,000 and 163,800 and the corresponding equivalent unit is 450 so the cost per unit with respect to conversion is 544 so the cost per unit of an equivalent production is equal to is equal to um, 1300 per unit unlike here which we got 1245.60 and this 1300 we will use this statement of cost to assign the cost and while assigning the cost you see the opening we are not showing separately because this cost has already been included so the finished goods will be valued at um, will be valued at okay finished goods will be valued at 400 units into 400 units we can put it here 400 units and uh, so therefore 400 into 13 so the cost of finished goods is 520,000 and the cost of um, work in progress 
by using the corresponding corresponding equivalent units for respect to material it is 100 with respect to material it is 100 and with respect to uh, conversion cost it is 50 and so therefore the cost is equal to uh, 50 100 into 756 and 50 into 544 50 into 544 so we can see the cost of closing work in progress is 102 now the effect of the opening closing and the current finished goods can be seen in the in the process cost so the input cost is equal to 261 which we have seen the work in progress opening the raw material introduced 198 conversion cost 163 and so the total cost incurred is 622,800 and transferred to the finished product is 520 calculated by using the average cost method and the cost of closing work in progress is 102 so this process of computing or calculating the process cost by recognizing the opening work in progress and using the weighted average shows that the cost incurred in the previous time period plus the cost incurred in the current time period are added together and distributed over the equivalent production. But this result of 520 may not be same if we change the method from weighted average to FIFO, which we will see in the next presentation. Thank you very much.